Now, while a couple of the turbine owners have recommended they'll buy curtains and blinds for people, I've not seen anybody else who thinks that's a proper mitigation. I think most people think that a proper mitigation for excessive flicker is to turn them off when you're in that condition. Mr. Ruiz uh, had some comments uh, uh, that were you know, a little over the top about how displeased, how displeasured he was, garbage in, garbage out, statements like that, which aren't you know, particularly constructive. Any comments about maybe the idea of <coughs> amending our, our bylaw to, to uh, reflect the, the standard of 30 hours? Not more than 30 hours, great. Yeah, well, we'll learn as we go, unfortunately. I think we need to have something in there. Yeah. First of all, it'll help in the future if there's any other wind turbines. And I think it will help with what we have in place now. Because if there's a standard and the town has adopted this standard and says this is what we consider to be acceptable, then I think the, the, uh, the owners have to deal with it. Right. Whether it's after or before, um, right now it says the flicker shall not be excessive. That's correct. Well, so what's the definition? The definition, for, for my, in my opinion, now we're defining what excessive is, whether it's before or after. Yeah. We're defining it, and it will have some legs, because, um, you know, it's not going to go away. So I think the only way that the owners can make it go away is to, to try to work with us on that. And I think the idea of blinds is kind of silly. Mm -hmm. So, I agree with that. Yeah. Well, I was just under the understanding that at just a certain time of the day when the sun's at a certain angle that this happens, and that it may be by not running them at that time of the day. When those conditions are in place. Right. It seems to solve the problem. Pretty simple to us sitting here. Right. Yeah. Um, I said we really exceed the time. Yeah. It looks like a new study it does. Yeah. So we need to deal with it. And um, that opportunity's going to come. If you scale back the of the time of flicker on Schofield Road to under 30, uh, then frankly everybody in the neighborhood would benefit from that because they're the, the leading edge based on where they're at in, in relationship to the <coughs> angle of the sun. So I think that's exactly right. If, if those people don't have a problem, then no one's going to, as far as flicking goes. Okay, we're going to move on to uh, our new business. First thing on new business. Yes. Can I make a comment? If it's quick, this it's is not a public part of our meeting. It's just a. Um, it's not a public hearing. Can you tell me who you are? First Sean Riley, Kingston. It's going to be quick too because this is not a public hearing. It's just. Who says discussion. thirty hours is acceptable? Uh, well, I, tell I me did, answer that. I've been at my house for nineteen years. I had no flicker Whoa. for nineteen years. So why is thirty hours acceptable now? Yeah, what and do why you mean would by that be industry standard? Why would that be amended into um, the, the new bylaw that you're going to do? Um, down in Bourne, for their turbines, they have a regulation that says Flicker cannot leave the property that the turbine's on. Mm -hmm. So why are we going to Europe to get this 30-hour standard when there's one right down the street? I think, uh, as I said, DEP can regulate sound can't be more than 10 decibels over the ambient prior to the turbines coming in. There's no standard for flicker. Uh, there's an industry practice that we see in all the sorts of literature that we've seen from, you know, all the, all the other places we, we talk about with flicker, and that industry practice is 30 hours. Now, if the town wants to do a bylaw, if people want to adopt a bylaw uh, to make it zero, that's certainly welcome, and when we have that discussion on August 8th, and we would have had the hearing earlier, but the, the, the newspaper, uh, wouldn't take the ad and send the ad at four, they said it had to be in at noon. So August 8th, we'll have a, a hearing for a town meeting that may be sometime in the fall, or it may be in the spring. We don't have a town meeting scheduled, but I wanted to get the issue out there and have it discussed and debated for this very same reason. So when we have that public hearing, we can have that discussion about what's an acceptable standard. i I just like the board to know that the industry standard is not 30 hours or less. It, he picks and chooses. If, if you did your research, it varies everywhere. Some are 10, some are zero. Uh, 30 is, is just a hand-picked number that that's what they want here. And as far as I'm concerned, where I live, it's unacceptable. I, I mean, I have a family that lives in a house that can't come home and do homework in the afternoon because of shadow flicker. 
It's, it's a major problem. The turbine should be shut off until it's fixed. Okay. Well, that's your opinion. We're going to move this forward until okay. we have that, that meeting with the Board of Health. That's where the... On the first? Yeah, yes. Because <clears throat> we're not prepared to have this discussion right now. And I don't... Obviously, I don't know what you're going through. and it, We're not going to have this discussion right now. I appreciate you being here, but this is not the time for it. And it's a very complicated issue. You're on the wrong end of it. I understand that. Um, but we're, we're trying to get through it. And uh, as, you know, every other town that, that has these things is dealing with the same thing. And everybody's trying to get through it the best they can. The idea of putting 30 hours on the table was an, an idea to start somewhere. Whether it changes from 30 to 10 or 5 or 0, that's fine with me. I just want to start somewhere because right now we have nothing. Why don't we start at 0? Well, I, I don't know that that's the right thing to do. But what I'm saying is... Um, Why isn't it... Well, wait, don't interrupt me. I'm on. talking. Listen, the train comes through. I can't tell them to shut off the, 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 the siren, can I? Everybody deals... Whatever part of town you're in, you deal with some kind of an impact. So what the level of that impact should be, I don't know. I don't know what it should be for the train. I don't know what it should be for, for trucks going down through the neighborhood down by um, El Knife and Son. I don't know what it should be for Flicker for you. But the town needs to decide. It's not up to me alone. It's not up to you alone. It's up to us as a town to get through this and decide what works so that we can all move on with our lives. So it's not, it's not all up to you. It's not all up to me. It's up to us. And to put something out there to start with, I think, is a good idea. Whether it's 30, which is the number that I hear and I read. You might read zero. You read zero to one time. I don't know what you read. All I'm telling you is what I read and what I see, that's an acceptable uh, uh, number and it's just an acceptable practice. And so what we're trying to do is start somewhere. This is nothing <clears throat> for you or against you. We're trying to protect the whole town at the same time. And I need you to realize that, and you need to realize that I'm trying to do that for you. That's, and that's where we need to start. When we, we're just getting the facts in now. We have a lot of stuff to read. Nobody on this board understands everything we've read, do we? I don't think you understand it all. No one does. But it, it takes some time. And so we've been waiting for these reports to come out. Uh, very little of this authority comes under us anyway. But we're trying to help out. So by putting something on the table, we're trying to help out the situation. And it's a, it's a, at least it's a starting point for discussion. And I think that's important. Wouldn't you agree? I understand it because I'm with you. <clears throat> I know when the flicker starts. I know when it ends. Right. Okay. So I understand everything that's in there. Right. Because I, but I'm, you, I'm you, living it. You're living it, but I understand. I have people in your neighborhood that said they're not bothered by it at all. So you say one thing, someone else says another thing. What we need to do is get to the facts. Some maybe you're bothered by it more than somebody else. So I'm not trying to argue with you, Sean. We've been friends for a long time, and I want to remain that way. But what you have to understand is I'm representing the whole town, not just one person or one neighborhood or one. We need to do this. This is going to be a, this is a big deal. And, it, and we need to do it the right way. The right way wasn't six months ago to shut them down, which we didn't do, and I'm glad we didn't. The right way is to get the numbers, get the studies done, and then move forward in reality. The reality might be that you have to live with some someplace, and your neighbors might have to, and somebody over in Indian Pond might have to. That might be the reality. I don't know. All I'm trying to do is get something started and something on the table because we had nothing. We had flicker should not be a nuisance or whatever it would say. What was the words? Not excessive. It's not excessive. What does that mean? It means nothing. So when I'm trying to get something on the table to get the discussion started. And I think that makes some sense. And 30 is the number we heard. The number can change. It can go higher. It can go lower. It's up to the town. This whole thing was up to the town from the very beginning. And the town thought it was a great idea. They embraced it because it's green energy. It's green. Oh, go green. Thought it was a great idea. I didn't even hear anybody. Not one person ever called me. Several people called me in favor of the whole thing. So now we're in the situation where there's a reality has set in that it bothers some people and it doesn't bother other people. So this is a community problem. If we don't solve it as a community, we're going to just have problems. We need to solve it as a community. And this is the only way we can do it, through the studies and the numbers, and then moving forward and, and coming to some realization of what is a nuisance and what isn't. I don't know what else to tell you, Sean. I've known you for a long time, but that's all I can tell you is I don't just represent you and, and try to protect you. I try to protect the whole town. 
And that, that is from flicker, that is from noise, and that is from lawsuits. Everything combined. We need to do the right thing for the town. And I think this board all agrees. We're trying to do the right thing for the town. That's why we're here. We're not here for any other reason. You know? So I'm just, I'm just trying to let you know that. And um, that we're, we're at, people are looking out for you. You don't think so. But it takes time to, to do it the right way. We have to do it the right way. If you don't do it the right way, it's useless, and it's just, it's just a liability. So that's the way we're going to move forward as far as I'm concerned with this board. We, we get the information, we deal with it, we give our two cents to the Board of Health and whoever else is in charge, and we move forward. And the town has to solve this problem as a town, as a people. It's, a, it's, all, it's all of our problem. So we need to solve it together. So dates, future dates, July 1, Board of Health, and August 8th, planning board hearing on the third standard. <coughs> so moving on. <coughs> 